Hey guys, Joe Nardella here with Sideline Swap from the PLL Whip Snakes and Team STX. Today we have some of our Face Off Factory students here and we're going to go over some ways that you can train in a small group utilizing some drills and team concepts that coaches can also use to work with their teams to better prepare you for the summer and kind of expand your skill set at the Face Off X. This first drill is called Domino Stick Work. We're gonna be combining two skill sets, both working on exits and passing the ball backwards when we get out to the defensive half of our field. I think this is a very important skill set. One, you have to work on escaping that face off X to pop and catch that ball cleanly away from your opponent. But two, we wanna get that ball backwards to either our defensemen or our goalies as soon as possible so our team can clear right away. And this is really important because not only our face-off wins crucial, but securing possession for your team to have a chance to score is even more important. For domino stick work, we're gonna have multiple players lined up on the line. Each one is gonna go in succession to my down set whistle call. We're gonna be working on our exits as well as throwing that ball backwards to either our defensemen and our goalies to securely clear the ball for our team. Our first exit will be a defensive exit where I'm gonna clamp, rotate counterclockwise, swing my body and hips around, pop this ball out, throw it back to my teammate. Our second exit will be rotating forward, getting to our feet, kind of faking like we're going out the front, popping backwards to our right, maybe switching hands, again, throwing back to our teammate. And our last one will simulate a little bit more of a tie-up situation where I rotate around, secure that ball by the time I get back to the midfield line, drag and exit away from my opponent, and again, pass that ball back to my teammate. For this second drill, we're gonna be working on tie-up situations with sort of dummy wing play. Although we're not gonna be checking the face-off guys as they go to pull the ball out, we wanna work on having that spatial awareness of being able to pop the ball, catch it cleanly, get your head up, and find a quick outlet for a pass. So to start or simulate this tie-up, we're gonna going to both clamp 50% of this ball. Each of us has two wing players on our sides, and as we go to rotate, again, we're trying to get over the whole ball finish that clamp and when we do we want to try to read and react to our surroundings and see where our safe space to pop this ball is so i want to get to my feet kind of check where my teammates are maybe throw a little hesitation drag pop this ball cleanly to myself and as soon as i secure it i want to move away with my feet get my hands up my eyes up and try to find one of my teammates to spark transition For this drill, we're gonna work on popping the ball out to space. I think as the games go on and you win clamps, teams are likely to make adjustments. So having the ability to pop the ball out to favorable locations for your teammates not only helps you and your team win more face-offs, but also gives them very advantageous positions on that ground ball play. We're gonna go two to each spot. So first one, clean win, toss back two times. Second one, Rotate forward, rotate back, toss back. Third one, half rotation, toss out. We'll see who can hit the helmet the most. For this next drill, we're gonna be working on situational live face-offs. We're gonna imagine that Davis is having to go against different counter moves. So at certain points in time, people may try to catch you off guard, or if you're beating them, they're gonna try to make adjustments and throw different moves at you. Additionally, as I practice these, these are moves that I can keep in my back pocket for whenever I want or need to use them. Hey guys, Joe Nardella here with Sideline Swap, getting ready to sign off. Hope you guys learned a few things and can add some stuff to your summer workout plans. As always, make sure to leave some feedback. We'd love to know what drills you liked, which ones you're gonna add to your plans. And lastly, make sure, as always, that you follow myself and Sideline Swap for more great content coming to you guys soon. Thank you.